Hey everybody and welcome back to my channel. So this is a very, very, very different kind of video and I'm not gonna lie, I'm a bit like, I don't know, I'm a bit nervous about it. So I'm downstairs in my living room. I hope this like camera angle and everything is okay. But basically there's these things going around on YouTube. They're called mukbangs. You guys might've heard of them before. And basically it's where YouTubers just sit and eat and like, talk to you guys basically so i've never done one of these before i don't know how this is going to turn out i hope it's going to be okay and yeah if you do like it grab some food let me know what you guys are eating in the comment section down below and let's just eat together so for my dinner it's super late um i don't usually have tea this late but for some reason i did today i just haven't been feeling great but um I got a Chinese and basically what I, one of the things I wanted to like update you guys on is I really <clears throat> want to try my hardest like in the future to become like vegan. I'm trying to become like vegetarian to start with and then like move on from there because I've heard like that's like the easiest bit like that's one of the easiest ways we just got some sweet and sour sauce in this little cup um but yeah like i'm just really trying to um become like vegetarian or vegan there's some onion rings in here but they're not mine they're for my mum later um but yeah i just i really want to try really badly want to try to become like vegan in the future at some point but i'm trying to start off slow and become like vegetarian first so i just got some salt and pepper chips here and then lastly i got stir fried um mushrooms so i'm so hungry you guys i'm starving i'm so excited to tuck in um if you guys don't like um eating videos or like people eating or eating noises um i don't really eat that loud anyway i don't think i do so um but yeah if not this video might not be for you but that's totally okay sorry if like it's a weird camera angle or the lighting's not brilliant here it's like super late as well it's like really late at night mm, he's so good i've never actually had um any of this before i just like tried it on a whim but it's really nice so I don't have a clue how well this video is going to turn out to be. Mm. Also, if you guys can hear like pitter patter, it's my two dogs next to me. If you guys have got dogs, you'll know exactly what it's like. Um, but yeah, like, I don't know how well this video is going to be received, if I'm honest. It might not turn out well, but I just really, really, really wanted to give it a go. Mm. I love mushrooms so much. Beth hates them. And her mum does. But me and her dad are like mushrooms. Um, but yeah, I've got loads of stuff to like update you guys on. So, the first one. Is. When I was like growing up. Um, I never really like followed a religion. My mum always tried to say I was Christian, but I knew I didn't want to be one. Not that there's anything wrong with that, obviously, but like she's a Christian, my dad's Christian, my nan's Christian, like all my family are. But I didn't really like want to, and like I didn't really like believe in <coughs> in that. So. I was like, okay. So I always went by as like an atheist. But there are certain things that I do believe in. So. I thought that was stupid of me as well. So. I've decided. Recently. To. Become Wiccan. And 
I'm super, super, super excited to start. Because there's so much you have to learn. But, I'm just so excited. And basically, I am going to try and get loads of books about Wicca. Um, and like the history of Wicca. And all the really cool, fun, practical side to it, like the spells and everything. I want to get like loads for Christmas. Um, so yeah. And I was thinking of like um, doing like a monthly video of like what I've learned this month about Wicca. So if you guys think that's a good idea, like this video and let me know. But I think it'd be quite fun to update you guys as well. Um, so I'm really, really, really stoked to get into that project. I'm just really excited. And... Another thing I wanted to mention, something so like trivial and stupid, but I really want to dye my hair because I've been like loads of different colours. These mushrooms are so hard to like try and pick up. I've been like loads of different colours before. I really want to be like a deep auburn or like a deep ginger colour. And on the weekend, just gone. I really, really, really tried with Beth to dye my hair. And it was Super Jug's own brand hair dye. Because I don't test on animals, obviously. Um, and I really wanted to try and dye my hair. So I brought the dye. And it's a dye I always use. And for some reason, it didn't take to my hair at all. And it dyed, right, my roots, if you can, like, kind of see. It's dyed, like, my roots. But I was really gutted. And I don't understand why it hasn't, like, the dye didn't take. So if you guys are, like, redheads out there, please let me know. Um, or you just dye your hair a lot, or you know a lot about, like, dyeing hair. And please tell me why I can't, I'm struggling to go from red like a deep red to like a deep ginger because in my head that doesn't seem like a hard thing to do do you know what I mean it's not like I'm trying to go from black to blonde or blonde to black so yeah um another thing I want to mention on my channel I really want to um, do more makeup tutorials. I did the Freddy Krueger one. And I'm not going to lie. I'm always thinking whether to take it down or not. Because I feel like it's not my best work. And I feel like it's really crap. And I'm not happy with it. So. Yeah. So um. I want to do some more because I wear makeup like nearly every single day now for like college. So I really, really, really want to get into doing more makeup tutorials because I like it would be really fun. And also, another thing I want to do is a crystal video. And I really want to like showcase all my crystals but I might leave that for like this wicker series hopefully that'll start it won't start yet so obviously I need to like learn stuff first and then be able to tell you so it won't be yet but yeah so the crystal video will more than likely be in like the Wiccan series 
I just make more sense. And then, does anybody else ever do this? Like, your fashion, like, you change your fashion sense all the time. I feel like my fashion sense changes all the time. And I sort of feel like, I don't know. I just feel like lately I've been dressing a lot more, I don't know what you call it, like just, like I've been adding a lot more like pinks, especially into like my wardrobe and stuff. And just loads of different things really. And then, yeah. I feel like my fashion sense is taking a completely different direction. So, that's cool. And it's not like a negative direction, I don't think. I, I really like the stuff I wear. And that. So I feel like that's cool. Um... But yeah, like, I think it's really good and it's really, like, healthy to go through different, like, changes. Like, changing your hair colour if you dye it. Or, like, changing your fashion sense. I think that can be really cool. It's just, like, I like the idea of, like, as you grow up, your personality changes. And you can tell that in a person with, like their hair, their makeup, their sense of style. I just think that's really cool. I think it's a nice concept. Mm. This food is so good. Like, I honestly don't even regret right now not having like meat at all with this. Because usually from, like, a Chinese, I'd have, like, meat or, like, a beef curry or something. But I'm just really glad that I didn't. I always feel so much better about myself knowing I, I off my own back ordered, that's Ben, like, I off my own back ordered stuff, like a vegetarian dish. I think that's really cool. And it's cool that, like, you know places like Chinese places do vegetarian dishes that's really good another thing I want to mention is new books so I have loads of books one of these days I'll have to show you properly my like whole mini library I have going on upstairs I have to show it, yeah. It's really cool. I really like it. But I'm definitely getting through... Shush. I'm definitely getting through, like, books a lot more, which I mentioned before. Sorry. I don't know why he's barking. Um, but, yeah. Like... There's one I really want to re read. It's just called Witch. I also have some... Um, Luke's side and some water. But, um, yeah, like, there's one called Witch, which I got. Haha, <laughs> Witch, which I got. Anyway. Only something like that would ever be funny in my head. But, yeah. Um, I got it on holiday from this place. I think it was called Moonstone. In the Forest of Dean in the UK, in Gloucester. This summer, just gone. When I say just gone. You know what I mean. So yeah, the summer of 2017. There we go. And um, yeah. So, I want to start that. And I definitely 100% want to do like a recommendation video on that. Or like a review. I think that would be really interesting. But again, I might incorporate that into like a <laughs> Wiccan video. So hopefully, you never know. I think that would be good. 
And then Ben does this. He just barks at random shit. It's so weird. Like, I'll go on that in a second. Then, I have a video coming out soon. I wrote everything down in, like, my death notebook. Um, of what I want to talk about in this video, so I'll just turn on the page. But, um, I've done a video. It filmed. It's ready to go. Of, um, the Ghost Downstairs book review. And another book review. It's like two in one. It's like a twofer. So that's going up soon. I think that one's going up before this one. So. Um, and then another thing is. I really want to get into vlogging more. I've mentioned this before. And it's never really happened. But I don't have a very good camera. I have my phone camera, which is shit. Or I have the massive Canon camera. And that's just too big and not discreet enough to like vlog with. So I found one on Amazon. It's like 50 odd pound, I think. Which isn't too bad. Um that I might try and get myself for Christmas. Um because that'll be really good. And then hopefully in the new year, like, I'm going to start out like, doing more vlogs. And then, basically, the last, like, update thing I want to talk to you guys about, well, tell you guys, is a list of new YouTubers I found. They've been out for, like, years, and I've only recently stumbled upon them. So the first one is my favourite called Harmony Nice and she's a Wiccan and she's like one of my big inspirations about wanting to become Wiccan and I feel like I'm learning a lot from her videos and the stuff she says but obviously like she also says I need to still do all my research and everything because she doesn't know everything do you know what I mean so She's awesome. She's from the UK. I think in Norwich. But she's absolutely amazing. She's oh, she's gorgeous. Absolutely drop dead fucking gorgeous. Um, I love her fashion sense. I love how she edits her videos. She's like paranormal videos. She's loads of stuff. It's awesome. And a lot of Wiccan videos. And funnily enough. She's done mukbangs before, and it was her that inspired me to want to do a mukbang on my channel. The second person is, if you guys know Toxic Tears, Kaya. She's like a gothic YouTuber. Her boyfriend, Jake Munro, he has his own vlogging channel. And it's him that's inspired me. To want to do more vlogging and vlogs on my channel. So, the past few months has just been a lot of me finding new YouTubers and just like being really inspired. So, that's really cool. And here's amazing they're currently in Japan, Toxic Tears and Jake. Um, so, that's really cool. But yeah, I love these vlogs, I love the way he edits. He's such a lovely guy, he's so friendly. Um, next person, she's called Madame Macabre, I think. No, Madame Macabre. I'm going to say that. Um, she's been out for ages, and I've watched her quite a few times. She does horror narrations, which is like telling horror stories on camera. But it's just like her voice, like a voiceover. Like creepy pictures. Me and Beth, like... We'll be getting ready to go out on a night out or something. Or in the day or whatever. And we'll just stick her on. And we'll just listen to her while we're getting ready. It is so fun. And she's got a fantastic, absolutely amazing narrating voice. It's so cool. Third person is Kelly Eden. I'm only recently starting to get into her. 
She's so cute, so pretty. She's Jake Monroe and Toxic Tears friend. Excuse me. She is so cool. She does so many different videos, like fashion videos, makeup videos. She's really big on like kawaii fashion. Um and like uh anime and stuff, which is really awesome. And the last one is Dre Renee. You guys probably heard all these people, and there's just me. <sighs> but like, she's really cool. She's like Kelly's best friend. And Jake Monroe and Toxic Tears friend. So that's really cute. And she's lovely. She's a goth as well. And she does so many cool videos. And she did a cover of Sally's song from Nightmare Before Christmas for Halloween. And she went all out and dressed up like her and everything. It was so cool. So, Defo, 100%, if you're looking for new YouTubers and you don't have a clue who I've just mentioned, 100%, look out for these people. Because they are amazing. I love all their content, literally. They're just so good. So defo look out for them. I think that was all my like updates I wanted to do. It was just like a talk thing. But like Does anyone else have them times where like life just gets way too much for you? And like you just I don't know, you just like, you lose motivation for everything you were doing. It's like, I started college in September on the animal care course, and I absolutely love it, don't get me wrong, and it's so much fun, but at the same time, it's so hard work, I just dripped mushroom juice on there, that's awesome, like, it's just so much hard work. And, which again is fine, it's good. But like, I don't know. I just, I feel like I had the October half term holiday, which was a week. And then I've gone back and I just have no motivation anymore. Um, but lately, I feel like this week, it's slowly starting to come back, like the motivation. But I was just so... I couldn't be bothered, like I didn't want to get out of bed, I didn't want to go in to college. But I think like everyone goes through them points in their life and they just don't want to do it anymore. Like whatever it is you're doing. But I think the main thing to think about is just, you know, especially if it's like school or college or sort of uni or something. You just gotta persevere and you've just gotta you just gotta do it. You know what I mean? Like you just gotta bite the bullet and just go for it and do it. And you have down days and good days. I know I have down days all the time. All right, all the time. But like, you know, you just gotta keep your chin up. And just hold your head high and just think about like positive things and like things you want to do in the future. And that's why I love like love what I what I love about like Wicca. Sorry, I got something in my eye. That's great. Well, that's what I love about Wicca. It's because it's just so positive. And it's all like nature based. And that's another reason like they have a saying. Um I don't know it off by heart yet, but it's something like, um, if it harms none, do what you will. Something like that. And um, basically, like, that just means, like, don't harm anyone. Don't harm the environment. Don't harm your family, friends, anyone around you, people you don't know. Don't judge other people. You know, and also, like, you do, like, as less destruction to the, to the earth as you possibly can. Which is, like, obviously not eating meat and stuff which is where like being vegetarian slash vegan comes into it for me um but 
but obviously I'll keep you guys all updated and posted on it all and whatnot. But um, yeah, just you know, if you're going through a rough patch in your life, <coughs> just always try to just keep your head held high, lift your chin up, and just focus and set a goal in front of you and just focus on it and just run for it. Because me, having this goal of wanting to be Wiccan and I feel so passionate about it, is awesome. Because I don't have many goals in my life. So, to know I want this is such a big thing and that chip was so spicy. So yeah, so that's all the updates I have. I am stuffed. <laughs> so this video is like 26 minutes. I'm sorry for such a lengthy video. I hope it was okay. Um, if you guys did enjoy this new way of telling like updates and having a chit chatty video with you, because I feel like if I'm just sat there talking, it can be a bit boring and tedious. But like if you guys did enjoy this video, just let me know, like this video, comment down below. And then obviously, if there's like enough views, if people like it and stuff, just obviously let me know and then I can do another one maybe, maybe do one like every month, every few months or something. But um, I just think it's a really cool, fun way and you guys can like grab some snacks, grab your dinner, grab your food. Let me know what you're eating in the comments below and we could just sit and talk. Like I think that's just such a cool idea and it's just such a new inventive way of like talking with you guys. So yeah, um, these are all my updates and stuff. Um, I hope it was all okay. Obviously like this video if you're excited about these updates about me becoming Wiccan and like a new Wicca series on my channel, obviously when I've learnt stuff. 100% um, check out them YouTubers, Harmony Nice, Jake Monroe, Madame Macabre, Kelly Eden and Dre Renee. Check all of them out because they're all amazing. And uh, yeah, like this video for mukbangs and I can do another one. I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.